Hello, I'm Professor McEwen. I want to welcome you to the AMH 2010-51AZ, uh, United States History to 1877. Um, I'm very accessible. Uh, you can send me emails if you, uh, you need help, but please look at my communication policy about sending emails before you send me an email because a lot of times students send me an email and it's already there in their syllabus are on the announcement page, but that's a whole different issue. The purpose of this video is to basically prepare you for this class. Now, if you look at history as a class that you've had in high school or middle school where it was done by a football coach or someone like that, okay, that's not this class. This is a college level class. What does that mean for you? Well, first of all, we're taking 16 weeks and we're going to shrink it down to eight weeks. So that means you're going to be responsible for knowing the same amount of material as a student that takes it over 16 weeks. Therefore, the textbook that you're going to read in this class, you're going to read sometimes up to 100 pages or more a week, okay? And I expect you to know what's in this book. There is no basic study guides that tell you 20 or 30 things you need to know, and then I want you to regurgitate it. Now, that's not learning. That's not understanding, okay? History requires a lot higher critical thinking skills than most people think are needed, okay? Hence the football coach, okay? So, besides the textbook, I also have lecture videos. You should watch those as well, because when you take the exam, that's based on two or maybe three chapters during the course of one week, you're going to have questions that are not covered in the textbook. Hence, that's why they call me a history professor, okay? So you're going to have an exam each week on Saturdays, and you're going to have a discussion question that's due every Friday. Now, you can send me your discussion before 4 p.m. on Thursday, and I'll be more than happy to look over it, critique it, get it back to you so you can get a higher grade. This is not high school. And what I mean by that is sometimes, unfortunately, high school students have been conditioned that you can turn your work in late and there's extra credit and we'll do everything we can so you won't fail. That's not me. I will help you, but you have to ask for the help. Don't be one of those students that come at the end of the semester asking, is there any extra credit? I can't fail. I'm a 4.0 student. I'm, you know, I'll get kicked out of the dual enrolled. Well, I'm sorry, but I treat all my students just the same. I don't give any special privileges to anyone. Everyone is treated equally. So I'm not doing this video to scare you. I'm doing this video the purpose to inform you so you know exactly what you're getting into, okay? Uh, if this is your first college semester, unless you really have a great background on history, I would tell you, you might want to rethink that, okay? So, um, like I said, not meant to scare you, just to prepare you, all right? So let's have a great semester.